OK, so we're going to calculate the sum of these square numbers in quite a neat way using some algebra so that we don't need to use a calculator. We can also avoid having to do any long or difficult computations. So the first thing you might notice about these numbers is 672 and 228. The 72 and 28 are complements to make 100. So if we were to add these two together, we'd actually get 900. And we could even square this. So 672 plus 228 all squared would just be 900 squared, which is something we can calculate quite easily. And then here, instead of actually calculating this, we could treat this algebraically, so expand the bracket, so we would get 672 squared plus 228 squared, then we'd also have plus 2 times 672 times 228. This is equal to 900 squared, and we could calculate that really easily, it's 810,000. And then to get the sum of these two squared expressions on its own, we just need to subtract this term and we take that onto the right hand side. Then we can write the sum of these two as minus 2 times this plus 810,000. Then we can do something quite similar for the 504 and 304. So if we add them together, that doesn't give us anything particularly nice to work with. But because they both end in 04, we could subtract them instead. So 504 minus 304, we can see, is just going to be 200. So if we square this, we're just going to get 200 squared. And again, thinking of this algebraically rather than numerically, we can think of expanding the brackets here. So we're going to get 504 squared plus 304 squared, and now it's minus 2 times 504 times 304, and this is equal to 200 squared, which again we can calculate that really easily, that's just 40,000. So then the sum of these two expressions on its own, we just need to add this 2 times 504 times 304 to the right hand side, so then this would be equal to this plus 40,000. And then this helps us to get a nice expression for our original sum. So our original sum, if we just call this star, then our original sum then we know is going to be equal to, first of all, the sum of these two, and then also the sum of these two. So we can do the 810,000 plus 40,000, first of all. It's just going to give us 850,000. And then we've got two of lots of this and two lots of this. So we'll put plus 2 times 504 times 304, and then it's minus 672 times 228. And now before attempting these multiplications, we can again think algebraically, we can see that there are some common factors we could take out of these products to make the numbers smaller and more manageable. So you can see that they're all even, but actually even better, all four of these numbers are multiples of four. You can see that just by checking the last two digits. We know that 100 is a multiple of four, so we only really need to worry about the 0, 4, 0, 4, 72 and 28 are also multiples of four. So you can write 504 then, this is going to be 4 times, it's like having 125 plus 1, so it's 4 times 126, and then 304 is going to be 4 times, it's like having 75 plus 1, so 76, and then 672, we've got 150 plus 18, so this is 4 times 168, and finally 228 is 4 times 57. So we can take out all of these 4s, we've got 16 in each of these, and then we can multiply that by the 2 on the outside. So then our original expression is equal to, we've still got the 850,000, but then we've got plus 32 times, we've got 126 times 76 minus 168 times 57. And again, we can see there's still some factors of 2 that we could take out here. So 126, this is 2 times 63, and 76 is actually a multiple of 4, so we can write this as 4 times 19. And here, the 168 is a multiple of 8, so this is 8 times 21. So we've got 8 times 21 here. So you can see, even though the 57 isn't even, we've got 2 times 4 in this pair, and we've got an 8 here, so we could still take out a factor of 8. But actually, even better than that, you see we've got the 19 here in 76, well, 57 is 3 times 19, so we can even take out this factor of 19. So then our original expression is going to be, again, we've still got the 850,000, but then we've also got 32 times 2 times 4, so we can think of this as like 2 to the 5 times 2 cubed, so if you're familiar with your powers of 2, this is going to be 2 to the 8, or 256 times 19, and then all that's left is 63 minus 21 times 3. 
And of course, 21 times 3 is 63, so we've just got 0 here. So this turns out that this product minus this product here is all just equal to 0. So then our original sum of squares expression, quite surprisingly then, is actually just equal to 850,000. And this second term that we've got here doesn't even contribute, it's just 0.